Hey everybody, welcome to Router Tube Brief. Happy weekend. I'm so glad we're finally here. Hey, this is Steve, weekly saltwater aquarium care show. I hate the word show. I don't know why. It's not like I'm doing a song and dance with a tux and a top hat. Anyway, so don't forget to look in the video description below when the video is done for everything that I talk about and all the things that I use that you can purchase off Amazon that I use in this aquarium and join our Facebook crew it's awesome it's free you can get help from all the subscribers put pictures of your tank and everything welcome everybody hopefully you're doing well so this is a live stream which means i can see what you guys type so if i am appearing to talk to nobody there are actually people here live for those of you watching this video after the live stream hey gary what's up gary johnson everybody gary johnson um so I'm going to do, you guessed it, another green hair algae update. Hey, channel, I can't pronounce your name, Chuppa the uh, disappeared. Ryan, what's up? Sparks Reef, what's up? Everybody, what's up? <clears throat> Good morning. i um, doing my taxes today, and that is my favorite day of the year. No sarcasm this time. I get some cash back and it is much needed. David, what's up? Chupa Thingy. Okay, I'm going to give up on that name. Um, Andrew, what's up? All right, you guys, so here's the deal. You know, for those of you just watching and just discovering my channel, I really appreciate you watching. Um, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hate it. Uh, subscribe so you're alerted of new videos and also click the little bell next to where it says subscribe that way you're alerted when new videos come out so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in um, green hair algae update this tank looks like garbage why do you guys even watch this channel the tank is a disaster all right used to be clean sparkling I didn't have one ounce of hair green hair algae Green hair algae is a cancer, and it grows in your tank because you either feed your fish too much, or there's too much fish waste, or you're not doing enough water changes. It all sparks from too many phosphates in your water. Thanks, Gary. It is real. I don't sugarcoat anything, good or bad, it gets on the video. And this tank is nasty, you guys. I want to take a sledgehammer to it. If it wasn't for overflowing my house, I would take a sledgehammer to it. Now, that would make for some great video. Thanks, Speedy. All right. So, there are obviously too many phosphates in channel Chupacathingi says he enjoys me suffering. Well... He will be removed from this channel later today. We can't have subscribers saying bad things, now can we? So, enjoy this. Chupaka thingy, this will be your last video you will watch. Now back to the show. So, things that can also cause high phosphates are if you have T5 lights, these are plant grow lights. I'm using ATI bulbs from Bulk Reef Supply. They're like $18 each, not bad. You replace them once a year. You have to replace them once a year. Some people do it once every six months, nine months, because as the bulbs get old, they won't work as well, and they will help to spark the growth of green hair algae. So um, something happened in here. I make my own fresh water. If you're using tap water, there's a lot of metals and bad things in tap water especially if you're using well water it's disgusting rust and garbage in it so you want to use uh fresh water so if you're making your own water with an rodi unit you want to make sure that your cartridges are changed so your water is filtered properly those carbon cartridges i just replaced the membrane in my rodi fresh water making unit that i got from bulk reef supply no sponsors are normally mentioned, but I like those guys a lot, along with Marine Depot. Those are the two places I buy my stuff from. No, they have never paid me to say any of this, probably because I don't have breasts. Just kidding, Ryan. Keep up the great work. 
Um, so all that said, my water is clean. The T5 lights are new. I do a weekly water change of 10%. And then for some reason, I have an explosion of green hair algae. Let me give you a look at this nastiness. Now, I picked this stuff off. I scrubbed it with... Oh my God, look what I'm seeing. A white starfish. I have not seen one of those in months. Great, now I'm gonna have a white starfish problem. These guys breed and multiply at a rapid rate. The only thing that really kills them is a harlequin shrimp, which I used to have, but he died. I'm gonna have to get a harlequin shrimp again. And then I'm gonna have to get chocolate ch chip starfish to feed it. What is going on with this channel? Oh my God. All right, so this green hair algae is nasty. It's all over the place. I tried dosing that fucanazole. Fucanazole treats yeast infections in humans and fungus. This is a form of fungus, so it's supposed to break down. And obviously, it's not. I have tangs in the tank. Tangs are supposed to eat algae because they are herbivores. You're not doing your jobs. You are, you're gone. You're gone. I think I'm going to bring these guys to the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago because you're obviously not doing your jobs. I'm going to turn this into a Nemo tank. That's it. You guys are fired. Fired. So the tank looks nasty. Geraro, I hope you're, I'm saying your name right, says just use Fosgard. I tried that. It didn't work. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going old school. I'm going old school. I bought a <clears throat> thin striped hermit crab. They go to town on green hair algae. I've only had them for about a week. Um, I'm tr I tried different things, you guys. I looked online. I get my stuff online from either I do not buy fish online never I will ever buy fish online yes emerald crabs speedy that that I do want to add emerald crabs in there but I did not add an emerald crab because some of them have been known to go after corals right um, a sea hare they are phenomenal I was gonna look at a, getting a sea hare but then you have to rehome it when the algae is gone and I didn't see them on either reefcleaners.org or algae barn reef cleaners they are awesome and they deal mainly with like reef cleaner cleanup crew algae barn is awesome they've got some cleanup crew but they deal mainly mainly with like copepods and stuff like that um so there's so many things to try you guys are giving me great ideas when the video is done post them in the comments below for others because that's what this channel is about to help them out so the Thin Stripe Hermit Crab, by the way, Steve goes by Steven with a PH on this channel. I, you sent me a message a few days ago about you didn't want to upset me really bad. And I think it was something about you think that the cleanup crew that I bought, the, the handful of snails and the Thin Stripe Hermit Crab really wasn't going to work, but you didn't want to tell me that. Um, I, I don't know where that message went. I was going to respond, no worries. I don't really care. Thanks for your honesty. And you're right. I believed you were right. I don't think there's a way this thin striped hermit crab is going to clean this mess. It's a disaster. So what I'm going to do today is I'm, after the flucanazole, it's been 14 days. Speedy says, are you still removing the sand and putting in tile? Ah, man, I would love to. I still think about that, you know. Now I'm going back to that. This sand is a detritus trap. It would be sweet looking with just black, uh, not ceramic, but marble. So what I'm gonna do today is a 30% water change. The flucanazole has been in here for 14 days. People said that it works um, and then it just goes away. It's not going away, it doesn't work. 
I feel like I've wasted my money on the fluconazole. To me, it looks like the green hair algae is breaking down, but to be honest, it's nasty. I, I'm tired of looking at it, and I know a lot of you are too. This is just, it's, it's just ridiculous. So I'm going to pull out as much as I can today. Look at that nastiness. If I were you, I'd unsubscribe from my channel, to be honest. I think I'm going to unsubscribe from my channel, to be honest. I'm going to do a 30% water change after taking as much of this stuff out as I can today. And that's my plan. Then I'm going to do a little bit of the no pox or probably just go back to sugar dosing for carbon dosing. Wow, look at that guy. Look at that Fowlery Tang saying hi to you guys. A beauty. A beauty. Look at him. Hey, by the way, everybody, um, this video is dedicated to Mike Lemming because the tank looks like garbage. So this is from Mike Lemming. Uh, special shout out to a few of my favorite friends. There's a lot of you. Brad Perez, Billy Pipes. Uh, Billy, he gave me a compliment a while ago saying that he got into reefing uh, channel on YouTube because me I inspired him without me he wouldn't get into it I'm not kidding that's what he said obviously from the looks of my tank you can see why he was so inspired I mean look at the beauty look at the beauty no wonder why Billy was in such a rush to a camera to start a YouTube channel um, Patrick Steven Reef, and of course, um, Louise from the X Channel Miss Saltwater Tank. Uh, she's doing great. I was in touch with her. And check out her new channel, everybody, about her animals. Her love for animals comes first and foremost. She's absolutely a sweetheart, a good friend, and she just great person with her dogs and animals she's outstanding i'll put a link to her new channel if you don't know already in the video description below and uh, check her out awesome as always just talking about her dogs by the way i'll put a link to my video uh to leia our german shepherd um she has her own channel you can check that out too if you're so inclined so <clears throat> this looks not good so I think a water change to starve this stuff out will do well. Oh, look at this. Look, it's on the back glass. Look at this. It's back there. Look at it. It's all over here. By the way, you guys, if you're struggling with this... Um, if you test for nitrates and phosphates, which this stuff feeds on, um, you're going to get zero. And I, I told you guys, like, weeks ago, about four weeks ago, there's no hair algae, and this tank always has nitrates in it, mainly because of all the fish. Look at these beauties. And... Um, yeah, I, I, I went from like 40 nitrates to like zero nitrates. They were undetectable. Like, what is going on? That's so weird, if you guys remember that video. Well, sure enough. Yeah, Vela, first a water change, then a water change, and lastly, another water change. You're so right. I'm, I have a 20-gallon um, Rubbermaid that I use for water changes, and stupid me, I drilled halfway through the middle of it so I only can make a 10 gallon water change, right? So what I'm gonna do is get another Rubbermaid container. I'm gonna put the hole at the top so I can have a full 20 gallons. So <clears throat> I can just do 20 gallons at a time instead of 10 and then refilling it in 10. Um, that's the deal, man. You know, that's what's going on. Just garbage. You can't see it where I'm sitting from, but I can see the back of the tank on an angle and there's like, three inches of algae just blowing in the waves beauty 
I hate looking at this tank. That's what I'm going to title this video. I hate this aquarium. <clears throat> All right. By the way, I have not fed these guys in two days. I feed them once every other day. It's time to feed them. Look how chill they are. Love them. I'm going to feed them now with Rod's food. I like to end the video with that. I thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do. I really appreciate it. Looks like I'm approaching 10,000 subscribers. That's insane. I never thought that would happen. Somebody just said this video is making them depressed. Don't be sad. It's okay. I'm depressed too. Don't be depressed. Don't be depressed. Um, I didn't do anything. I changed nothing. I changed nothing. I don't know what's going on. It's business as usual. Feeding once every other day. Fresh water changes unless the membrane was going bad. I haven't replaced it in like ever. I've had that RODI unit for three years, but the, the meter said it was a two, which is fine. Anyway, phosphate RX didn't work. Um, feeding every other day didn't work. Flucosamine didn't work. And I've been doing a lot of reading on this, obviously. And of course, it's obvious that there's so many different strains, thousands and thousands of strains of bacteria and um, uh, green hair algae and algae, period, and just crazy. Um, oh, by the way, one reason I didn't want to try a sea hair is not only do the sea hairs eat green hair algae, but they also eat coralline algae. And coralline algae is the beautiful purple all over the rock. We can't have that. My coralline algae has been disappearing. I got to take care of that. Here's one other thing. Um, magnesium. If you keep your magnesium, I was reading at like 1,500, that starves out and wipes out the green hair algae. It just helps to kill it really quick. So I'm going to be monitoring and raising the magnesium after I do all these water changes. That's it. The only thing I can think of that's different is that I changed salt. Remember that? Like three months later, this happened. I went from, um, for years I used instant ocean, just regular instant ocean, and it was awesome. Then I switched to Red Sea Coral Pro, and although I love it and the corals got better, this happened like three months later. That's the only thing I can think of that I've been meaning to tell you guys. I don't think that's it, but you never know. Every tank is different. Maybe my tank chemistry just doesn't like that. Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I thought about going back to Instant Ocean, but of course before that, I want to do all these water changes, get the magnesium level up, and then from there, I'm going to see what happens after a month or two, and if it's cool and stabilized, I got my refugium to make sure the nitrates and phosphates are out. By the way, this green algae is starting in my refugium too, um, even though that's doing well. So... Let me, let me feed these guys. Turn off my power heads. When I get money, because I'm doing taxes, because I'm so damn broke. When I get money, I'm gonna have my other Vortec MP40 repaired. It's been sitting downstairs broken for like nine months. So then I'll have an MP40 on this side, which is covered in green hair algae. And I can get rid of this high door, and I'm going to put my other MP40 over there. All right, let's feed these dudes.
<clears throat> All right, let's feed these guys Rod's food. Yeah, they know. They just know when it's time to eat. They didn't eat yesterday. They're going to eat right now. You guys ready? Here it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's just splashed all over the floor. They're so excited. <coughs> so I feed them once every other day, Rod's food. And then Nori, a strip of Nori, like once every other day, I hand feed them. Fire shrimp is out going crazy. Yeah, that's what this video is about. The green hair algae issue is worse. It's nasty, it's bad. Hey, Rob, what's up? So I just fed the guys. You saw the nasty tank. Oh, my God. I got to show you this, how bad it is on the side. There's water all over the floor because they splashed when I fed the Rod's food. They went nuts and crazy. I know Rod will appreciate that. I'll have to have him watch the video. Look at this. Green hair algae and the green hair algae in the glass. This is just bad cancer. So there's the 125. I love this tank. 125 gallons is perfect size for me. My biggest thing when getting a tank, I always try and get the longest or widest tank you can. This is six foot. Fish swim left to right. They don't. They rarely swim up and down, right? They might go up here and swim left to right up here, but four foot long tank, not gonna go well with me or these guys. They like to swim back and forth. I also don't have the rock touching the back of the glass because I like them to swim in front. They go behind here, they swim around, they come here, they do their figure eights, and then they do their circular in front and back everywhere. I try to create as much swimming space for them as I can. So my next tank will be, it have to be an eight foot wide whenever that happens. If ever I make enough money on YouTube, that will happen, you guys. For me and, of course, you. But I don't know when that's going to happen. Flying wasp. Yeah, Rob, you know what? I had a coal tang and he passed away. In this tank with all these guys, I may get that guy. I may purchase one because um, I love them so much. I didn't go back to a coal tang because I figured, let me just... Keep the bio load down a little bit. One less fish will help the bio load, but I'll do that. And I'll probably go get one. I'll probably go to, you know, pick one up. I love them. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? I totally forgot. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Pull out as much as I can by hand before the water change. And then when I do the water change, I'm going to vacuum the sand bed, sucking up all the green hair algae that's floating in the water column. And then we'll go from there. I'm also going to, like I said, make sure the magnesium level is at 1,500 because I was reading that a higher magnesium level, which makes sense, too many details to give you now, but a higher magnesium level will kill the... Um, Green hair algae. By the way, I'll do a video on this, but what I'm doing, instead of buying like magnesium sulfate from leading reef stores, I'm getting it on Amazon. I can get like a five gallon 
uh, bag of magnesium sulfate for $18. That's right, $18 only. Free shipping Amazon Prime. Link to that. Smith, John, you're totally right. That's why I didn't get the Fox Face. I'm uh, sorry, the Cold Tang. I didn't want to add to the bio load. The, the Fox Face and all these Tangs, not one, not one is eating the green hair algae. Not one. And the fl flucanazole just is not working for me. To me, the algae looks like it's, I don't know, not as stringy. It looks like it's more cottony. Maybe it's breaking down, but I can't tell. It's just nasty. So I'm going to do it old school, like I said. I'm going to pull as much out as I can by hand. And then I'm doing a 30% water change today. And then I'm going to make sure my magnesium is up. And I'm going to continue to do my sugar dosing because I stopped that like two months ago. Mitch, what's up? Um, I still do think about getting rid of the sand, by the way, and putting black marble on the bottom. That would look beyond sweet. Yeah, magnesium sulfate. Uh, magnesium sulfate, yeah, from CVS. I got it at Target last time. Um, but yeah, man, five pounds of magnesium sulfate, free shipping, $17.99 from Amazon. Um, I, it's going to be coming here tomorrow. I just ordered it last night as opposed to getting it off like a leading reef place, man, for like, you know, 50 bucks. I don't think so. Or $99 I saw it at one place. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, man. And I am looking back <clears throat> to doing like Reef Radio again, maybe like one every other week. That'd be cool. We'll do that. Not next Friday, but maybe maybe the Friday after. I got some new software, so I'm going to have to work with that. Set it up, get it going again so I can trigger everything live. We'll take live phone calls. Um, it'll be cool. Oh, look who came to say hi. Hi, baby. Who is this? Who is this wolf? Huh? Come here. Come up. No? You don't want to? <laughs> Some of you may remember when I got Leia, she was nine pounds. Now she's 65 pounds, and it's only been seven months. She's doing very well. She's got her own YouTube channel. Check it out in the video description down below. Well, I hope all your tanks are doing good. After I do my taxes today, I'm going to go through and just sit and look at some of your videos. I'm thinking about having a little contest. To be honest, I'm not one for contests. Hey, Dustin, what's up, dude? I'm not one for having contests, because for one, I don't have really any money. I'm like the poor reefer. I know we're all poor, but uh, um, I want to give away a little something, a few little things. So I'll, I'll be thinking about that, and uh, you know, that's it. Yeah, you can, this green hair algae can come in on so many different things. You get a little bit in your tank and it's going to spread if it gets the right amount of light. Now, by the way, I do have my lights on only eight hours a day or less. Um, I did have the lights out for three days. Three days of no lights and no feeding the fish and the skimmer running on high. Didn't do anything. Yep. Flying Wasp said it can survive in very low lighting and no lighting and very low nutrient conditions, phosphates and nitrates. Phosphates and nitrates, it's the, those are the aftermath of the nitrogen cycle, like, you know, fish go to the bathroom and that urine is ammonia. The bacteria breaks down the ammonia, it turns it into nitrites, the nitrites turn into nitrates. If you don't get those nitrates out of the water, you're going to be in trouble. Smith John says he strongly suggests I move the rock and stir up the sand underneath the rock. Yes, 
I'll do that too. That's going to be a real pain, as you can imagine, because these rocks are kind of heavy, and I don't want to disrupt the rockscape, and I don't want to have rocks falling on corals. It's going to be a messy job, but I will do that. I'm looking forward to this tank looking really sweet again. I think after removing it by hand... What? Somebody wants to play. I think after removing it by hand and um, doing a 30% water change... That's going to help a lot, and then raising the magnesium. If I can find a good balance with the water chemistry, that's going to be key, I think. My parameters were always fine. You can't see them, but the Mandarin Gobi is out and about. He got a little fatter, so that's really good. So those extra pods I added from the algae barn, I think, are helping. Um, I haven't seen any on the glass because they hide. There's so many tangs that could eat those guys. So the copepods, they're hiding out. Well, guys, that's it for now. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to do reef radio. We're going to start with, like, one every other week, I think. Um, I've got a couple other YouTube channels. I don't know where I find the time to do them, but I do. One is Leia's German Shepherd channel. The other one is Rotter Studios. I'm going to be starting a Star Wars film with some YouTubers. I've got a writer, a writer in the UK. I've got a model maker for special effects in Hong Kong. I've got a couple other writers who are interested. I'm going to be editing everything. Um, it's going to be really cool, like a 10-minute Star Wars clip. It's going to be awesome. Um, so that's Rotter Studios. And then, of course, this channel. And then join our Facebook group. I really so much appreciate you guys for watching this. And thank you, Smith John. I just saw that. And Gary, I, I really, I don't want to leave you guys. I love talking with you. I love you watching. This is so much fun. I look forward to these every Saturday. Seems like I've been doing more live streams and regular videos. I prefer this. Oh, yeah, you would, huh? Channel Tupacathingi. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say it. Um... Hey, check out the channel, Rotter Studios. If you guys want to help with the Star Wars film, all the information is there. Check it out. I created a new email address just for the project, starwarsbyfans at gmail.com. But check out the videos so you get a feel of what's going on, okay? Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. And I'll see you next time, okay? And look out for Reef Radio and subscribe. Love you guys. Oh. Guys, if you want to see this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel until you like the video. There's a munchkin upstairs saying goodbye. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you guys for all your help. I learned from you guys as much as you learned from me. Although there's not much to be learned at the moment. Unless you want to have a garbage reef tank then you're going to go places. Take care, guys, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.